got here in one piece, did get a few surprised looks when I first pulled into the driveway, but I think there's a, kind of an ice cream shop at the start, and then the campgrounds at the back, and then there's the public toilet, and then you can take a tractor ride, and then there's a maze apparently, and a couple of walks in the area, and lots going on basically. So it's quite noisy and rowdy at the moment with, um, you know, school holidays and there's lots of kids here, but uh, the owner of the campground came over and, and helped me pick a spot. Because I'm just staying the one night and then I'm taking the ferry tomorrow, he's put me, um, it's probably more public really, but I'm just here one night and it'll be easy for me to leave really. I can just leave the car directly in front of the caravan. I'm just kind of looking into how far away I actually am to the ferry terminal. 27 minutes. I'm taking the P and O ferry from Dover to Calais in France. So you can book directly through P and O ferries, but if you've got a caravan, it's suddenly quite expensive. And I, I you can book through the both club websites, and I'd kind of looked on caravan and motorhome club and they actually had one from Dover to Dunkirk which would have been ideal it would have been so close to the campground I'm staying at but I've kind of got a, a weird temporary membership number so I'm kind of part of the club but not part of the club yeah I didn't want to have to contact them and, and be a hassle so I then looked on uh, camping and caravanning club and you can book through them as a non-member so that means it's a 20 pounds on top of fee so I've done that <laughs> so it ended up being a lot cheaper than if I had booked directly through piano ferries but it's gone quiet now I think it's it's just after 5 p.m. I think the ice cream shop must have shut and all the families have gone home so it's just us caravanners now I was told, the owner told me that there is a walk that way to a hill with a nice view. Who needs TV when you've got planes taking off over the caravan it's 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 really a quirky campground it's kind of cool yeah I don't know it's just been a very busy trip so I'm feeling a bit last minute and, a bit, and disorganized with this trip to France and I was just <laughs> finally reading and it said do I need a great Britain sticker so I had a bit of a freak out but if your number plate has a euro symbol and the great Britain uh, national identifier on it it's fine and I just went out and my number plate has that one thing it does say is you need your headlights on your car converted before you go over something about otherwise you're shining too bright on oncoming traffic obviously it's saying drive on the right I know that it's gonna be a challenge money saving expert says AA recommends taking your passport having travel insurance documents the Peugeot um, has covered the car insurance. I have travel insurance for the UK and Europe, and then I've got my New Zealand driver's license. And then if it's if I'm taking a car car registration certificate, otherwise known as a logbook, mm, motor insurance certificate. If you hire a car in Europe, you'll need a DVLA license check code. <sighs> now I'm feeling nervous. Now I'm feeling nervous. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Today is taking the ferry to Europe day. <laughs> I am nervous. I am nervous. There's always that kind of uncertainty. The what ifs. I've woken up, it's always good having good sleep, I've woken up just thinking I just need to make sure I have my passport, my driver's license and 
the ticket to get onto the ferry and I will be fine. I was thinking I would need to do a gas bottle swap before going to Europe because I've heard you can't get these gas bottles in Europe. But they seem to last forever. I've only done one gas bottle swap in like the two months. <laughs> two months I've had the caravan. And it looks like there's an indicator at the top and it's it's mainly green, so I think I'm fine. But if it's I'm going to assume the same system in New Zealand for taking the ferry, they want the gas bottle off the whole time. For 80 yards, turn left, Munchum Road. I know it looks really confusing with me changing lanes all the time but I found the signage was very clear with where to go. I followed P and O and then I followed the car sign and then looked out for my lane number. was overall much easier than I had been worrying about so I had left the campground exactly at 10 a.m. and now I'm sitting waiting for the ferry at 10 30 <laughs> and apparently we're not loading until 11 30 so I've got an hour to kind of chill but I guess you never know how long these things take everything was faster going through passport control was fast checking you know getting my checking in was fast I was given this ticket and it's got a number for what lane and everything was very clear and then I've got this um, thing to hang on the uh, the mirror and I'm done so on the back of the um, bit of paper you put on the mirror it's got a few things to remind you like before leaving your vehicle please apply handbrake and leave in gear or park with ignition switched off and it does talk about the gas and then there's a guy walking around handing out information I had I just asked him about the um, head lamp beam adapters and if I needed it and he said yes so you I can buy them on the ferry apparently so I'm, I'm just gonna get some better to be safe yeah it does mention the GB plates Ooh. You can get a drive right lane safety device. I was also given this. Towing in France, are you legal? Vehicles driving in France, the towing a caravan, must display 80 and 90 speed limit stickers. Stickers are available on all ferries leaving port. So I'm getting an 80 and 90 sticker and headlight beams and <laughs> drive right lane safety device and I don't need a GP plate sticker. Well, we're away. <laughs> We've started moving. Watching the Dover Cliffs leave. 
seemed easy enough driving on and I'm on deck five. I have to remember a C1 area right at the front. <laughs> and I went straight away and bought some of the stickers that I need. And yeah, it was just pretty simple really. They've got everything you kind of might need for driving in Europe if you forgot to kind of be organized. So I found my car, so it's on deck 5C area and I'm in the red staircase so there's also a colour you have to remember. So I'm going to stick on some of the stickers but not the lights because apparently Peugeot has two different types of lights and I'm not sure what one I have and I would have to stick the light sticker in a different area so I'll try to research later today find out what one I've got. jumping lanes all over the place but my GPS was very helpful and clear with what lane I was to be in. I made it! <laughs> I'm now in Belgium at a campground just over the border. Yeah, overall that was an easy drive. I had been kind to myself and I'd booked this campground because of the location. To, to the main motorway so I like that I could just go straight on to I think it was the E40 E40 and A16 I don't know why but it had two numbers for that road and then I just kept going stayed behind the slower trucks and then I just popped off and there were arrows on the road everywhere and it was very clear where I should be going I just followed people there was a couple of narrower roads at the end but luckily I didn't really I didn't meet any traffic coming the other way so it kind of it all, all worked out campground was easy enough to get in the lady at the reception super relaxed um, I just had my card they had a machine but she said she preferred cash so tomorrow I'll just go and get the cash for my stay and yeah no problem what's the time quarter past four and I think my phone's automatically changed because I I didn't take, take into account that it's a different time zone here. It's an hour later, I think. So, so I had estimated that I'd arrive here at 3.30 p.m. It's saying it's quarter past four, but it's quarter past three in the UK, I think. <laughs> and then I just had a really relaxing evening. 